Uh, people from Kara over at Reed's Beauty Shop. And last year we did the fundamentals of foundation where we used two foundations for throughout the month. And then we came back the next month and reviewed them and gave you our thoughts and uh, just talked about the foundation and how we liked it or um, how it wore, et cetera. Uh, we decided to change it up at the beginning of this year. Um, I have had a lot of health problems and um, several of my uh, dogs have, have passed away um, unexpectedly and I've just had a lot of things going on and I just did not have it in me to do my videos and um, so Tara was kind enough to go ahead and do it by herself for the first few months and uh, I, I want to apologize to her for being missing in action on, on our collab but um, I love you and I'm back and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do it every month now. Um, so we decided to switch over to face products like uh, blush, bronzer, and highlighter uh, for this go-round. I'm not sure how long we're going to do it, if we're going to do it for an entire year or if we're going to switch it up quarterly or, you know, in six months or whatever. But for now, we're doing face products. And I decided I'm going to do all of my face. I'm going to do face palettes instead of singles because I just don't get enough use out of my face palettes. So the two I chose after all of that talking... <laughs> were the Alomar Cosmetics uh, Colored Blush Trios. And I have both the Fair Light and the Beauty one. And this is what the packaging looks like. And these are the shades. They're very warm toned, both palettes. I'm gonna swatch these and um, show y'all what they look like. Um, I would say that the two on the ends in this one are uh, a more shimmery formula and the middle one is more of a uh, oh my goodness satin um, but these are the shades and I think they're really really pretty um, I like a glowy bro a blush I started really enjoying glowy blushes when I started painting Milani's Luminoso uh, this one is the medium tan again the same packaging and three more really pretty blushes I will go ahead and swatch these. I will have a couple of looks up later in the month using these palettes. Okay, they're the three on top. What I can say is I absolutely love the formula. It's it's very pretty. They are buildable. Um, they aren't too powdery they they feel really nice on the skin and smooth and silky um like i said the first palette the lighter one has two that are kind of shimmer not too bad but uh they do give you a nice uh glow a little you know a lift you if you're someone who doesn't like to glow a lot you might not want to use a highlighter when you use those but um i like to glow to the gods so i'll just stack it on <laughs> on top of them but uh, I think it's a very nice set of shades when you when you get all six of the palette, uh, excuse me, all six of the colors. I think it's a very nice grouping of colors. You could you could pretty much do any kind of look you want with these. Um, again, I think they all lean more warm toned. I enjoy Alamar's products. Everything I've tried by them, I've tried uh, these blushes um, and um, eyeshadow palettes, and I think a lippy. I think I've tried a lippy. Um, I would love to get their bronzer palette that's in the same packaging, but um, I really enjoyed using these. Um, I think they're great. Uh, I believe I got one in BoxyCharm, and I think a friend sent me the other one in friend mail. But I'm sure you can find these on reseller sites like Mercari or uh, Poshmark. Um, but I think they're well worth the money. I think they're great products, um, nice packaging. And um, I really enjoyed using them. I definitely need to use them more. And uh, so, anyways, that was my little review. Um, again, I want to thank Tara for doing this collab with me and for being so patient with me while I have just been in such a funk. Um, anyways, I hope you all are having a better year this year than last. Um I look forward to getting back into my usual content and uh, uploads. I want to thank everyone who stuck by me, even though my uploads have been sporadic and just a bunch of hauls. And, um, <laughs> but anyways, I also.
so in the future there will be um, a lot of hauls coming as well. So, anyways, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Oh, I forgot to talk about Tara before. I'm so rusty. I will have her channel linked in the description box below. And I want you to go over, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good YouTube -y stuff and tell her I sent you. She does a plethora of things on her channel. She's into Project 20. She loves skincare. She works in the uh, makeup and skincare industry. She is very knowledgeable about makeup and skincare. If you have any questions, I'm sure she can answer them. Um, she does looks. She does... Um, she recently has, has started moving into a larger makeup room because she has a huge collection like I do. So she needed a bigger room. Um, <laughs> I hope one day she'll do, do a whole collection a tour, a room tour. But um, anyway, she does tons of things on her channel. Collabs and um, she was in the uh, First Stone Beauty collab group with me. And um, so yeah, she's one of my best, best friends here on YouTube and I love her to pieces. Thanks again, Tara. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. For reals this time.